I have some bad news, guys. My Tesla solar roof has been generating power, providing energy for my household, but it's starting to look a little bit ugly. Guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Darwin. This channel is all about tech that helps you win at life. Today I'm talking about the solar roof and what it looks like after a few months. And this is a special scenario. I live in Southern California where we don't get a lot of rain. So Tesla advises that most owners should not get on their roof in order to clean the roof because the material on the roof is glass and it could be extremely slippery and it could be a hazard if you slip off and hurt yourself. So the footage that you see and saw at the beginning of the video is actually footage from about two weeks after the install. The roof, as you can see, looks shiny, it looks bright, it looks great. So a lot of you guys have been asking me how the roof has aged, how it looks now after a few months. So it's been about three months since the roof has been installed. And in that three months, it has been historically dry here in Southern California. There has been no rain at all, nothing to clean the roof. I didn't water down the roof. So let's take a look at how the roof looks now. As you can see, the roof just plain looks dirty. It looks dirty because you can see the dust is kind of like a brown texture, kind of like sand. And then it really sticks out because the roof is dark and black. Everybody who's owned a black car knows a black car is almost impossible to keep clean. What makes this worse is that I live in Long Beach and because we're so close to the ocean, a marine layer moves in every morning. Sometimes it's a really heavy fog that you can barely see through in the morning. And this marine layer actually carries a lot of moisture and this moisture lands on cars, it lands on the roof, and then it just dries there. So this has been a hassle ever since I've been living here. I noticed that I have to wash my cars more in order to keep them looking good. And then this is also having the same effect on my roof. So looking at the footage, you can definitely tell over time that water has dried on the roof. And you can see it's pretty uniform throughout the whole entire roof. Now I haven't gotten the chance to get on the roof and water it down or clean it up, but I do feel the need to do this soon because it just doesn't look good. But the good news is that my roof is still generating a good amount of energy. It's generating more energy than I can use. At the same time, the roof is generating less energy, but this is more due to having less sunlight during the day because summer's coming to an end. Where it really does become a big deal is the fact that this roof was marketed as a slate roof that looks great, that looks beautiful, and it just outshines everybody else's roof. And the roof really did look spotless, clean, and stood out among the neighbors when it was first installed. See, one of the benefits of a regular asphalt roof is that the asphalt roof is just flat in color and it's kind of dusty in its nature. So when dust lands on it or when it gets wet and dries out, it doesn't really leave any mark because it looked flat in color and didn't really stand out anyway. When you have a shiny roof that's made of metal and glass like this Tesla solar roof, it seems like the dust and the particles and the dried water, it all shows up. So I actually do plan to go up and clean the roof. I haven't decided yet whether or not I'm gonna use a pressure washer or um, water it down with a foam soap the way I wash my cars. But I do plan to wash my roof soon because I just want it looking good again. Um, I don't think we can wait for rain because who knows when that's coming. Um, living in Southern California. Another factor that has played a part in the roof getting dirty is that we've had a ton of forest fires and um, brush fires and things like that in Southern California. So there are ashes that have been lifted up and most likely landed on the roof. And then when the marine layer comes in, it kind of makes the roof sticky and the, the fog and ashes and dust all stick, all fall down and land on the roof. Under normal circumstances, I don't think this would be a big issue. Normally it would rain and your roof would get cleaned off. But since there hasn't been any rain in Southern California lately, um, and there's been fires and brush fires and things like that, it may make sense for me to go up and water down the roof. So go ahead and give me a like if you enjoyed the video, enjoyed seeing the images of a dirty solar roof, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see that video of me going up to the roof and giving it a nice clean. We'll see how it turns out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.